Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Afro Sam, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your settings and your PC for Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, Fortnite is really popular at the minute, but I know a lot of people do struggle to run it on their computers because they're running it on a laptop or a lower end PC. Hopefully, in this video, I'll cover a couple of things you can do to improve your performance on the game. A few quick tips should be done in about five minutes or so that can hopefully get you better performance in Fortnite. So the first thing we want to do is actually tab out of Fortnite and get to your desktop. Now once you're on your desktop you want to open up Task Manager which you can do by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete and clicking Task Manager or pressing Ctrl Shift and Escape. Now once you're in this menu you want to make sure there's nothing running here that's using a lot of CPU or a lot of memory or a lot of disk. Now you can see here I've got Fortnite at the top of my list which is fine. If you have any other programs open such as a web browser, Steam, Uplay, Origin, anything else that's using a lot of CPU I would really consider closing it and basically reserving your computer just for Fortnite. So for example here if I open up Google Chrome uh, you'll be able to see that in the task manager it shows that Google Chrome is using up 5% of my PC which doesn't sound like a lot but if Fortnite is really you know working hard you're going to want to get every single last bit of juice out of your PC. The only thing I recommend leaving open would be Discord if that's what you use to talk and Fortnite. Anything else you're probably going to want to close for performance. The next thing I would recommend taking a look at will be the Windows power settings. So if you go into your start menu and type control panel if you're on Windows 10 and then find the power options or just type power if you're on a lower version of Windows. Select power plan and make sure your computer is set to high performance because this can also help squeeze some extra frames out of your GPU and CPU. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to hop into the game and show you the performance I've got here at the minute. As you can see at the moment, I'm getting around 69 frames a second, and that is on the max possible settings I could get in-game. So if we have a look here, let's see what we can optimize first of all. So the 3D resolution, as you can see here, is a slider up and down. If you reduce this all the way down, the game will look really bad, as you can see here, really blurry and pixelated, but it will give you a really good frame rate. If you're really struggling for performance and the game isn't running well on your computer at all, I would recommend dropping this down a little bit at least, to maybe 90%, like you can see here. There isn't much of a difference in quality at 90%, but you do get about an extra 20 FPS. If you're really struggling, though, drop that down to the minimum and work your way up from there. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be the view distance settings. Now, to be honest, this doesn't change that much at all. I really wouldn't recommend messing with the view distance settings. In my testing, it changed about 5 FPS difference. Shadows, though, does make a big difference. So there, from dropping my shadows, I've gained about 25 frames a second from turning shadows off. Some people would say you want them off anyway, so it's easier to spot enemies. That is something to consider. Next one is anti-aliasing. I wouldn't really recommend touching this one either. Anti-aliasing is more of a choice. If you like the way it looks, put it on Epic. If you don't like the way it looks, turn it off. It doesn't really affect performance that much. Textures as well. As long as your PC can run it, if you've got more than 2 gigs of VRAM, go for the textures. The effects are one I would recommend having a look at. Now the effects on low will make a big difference to your performance. As you can see here from the, I mean it's not made a huge difference here, but combined with other settings in the past, I've found this gives me about a 10% difference. No, sorry, a 10 FPS difference in performance. The last one we're going to look at in the main list of settings is post-processing. I would recommend turning this down to low. Post-processing does a lot of extra things after the image has been rendered, which make it look nicer, but as a result make it a bit dirtier, and as, as well they do affect your frame rate quite badly. Make sure you turn motion blur off as well down here at the bottom of the settings, really not a fan of that. Now with these settings I've just shown you there, I'm getting about 100 FPS. If you like that, that's good enough for you, then go with these settings I've recommended here if you've got the same CPU and PC as me. Otherwise, I would recommend if you want to drop the settings lower to get a better frame rate, drop effects and shadows down to the off or low, and that will give you a much better performance here. As you can see, I've got 144 FPS, and the game still does look pretty damn good as well. The only thing you're really missing is the shadows. If you are, again, really struggling for frame rate, though, don't forget to drop down that 3D resolution. As you can see here as well, if you mess around with the settings, you can get varying results. So once you've found the number that you want to get to, whether that be 60, 30, or 144, try and get to that number by adjusting these settings. And hopefully with this video, I'll have shown you the main ones which make a big difference to that. So now I'm just going to show you some comparisons between the different settings I was showing you earlier, just to show you how much of a difference there is between those. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. I am still doing a giveaway on my channel, which I will leave a link down to in the description below. If you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day, guys. Mate, right, just, just hop around over the tree. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't even fall that far. I didn't even fall that far! <laughs>
Tá o fã, não, 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 não